Let's go to the other side of the country and find some bacon and eggs. Oh, it's really magical this morning in these fields. Absolutely gorgeous. So my plan is to now drive to Cardiff. Okay, so I'm writing a book that accompanies this vlog series. And so obviously if you buy the book, it's not out like as I'm making this, but when it is, the link will be down there. And it's gonna be called Hills and Valleys. I'm not sure about the little line, the little tagline, something like um, one woman's journey, into Wales and into her mind or something like that so it's been building up for quite a long time and I was really like do I or don't I go and then in the end I was like you know what just flip him or book it you got you know one shot at doing things well I, I, I don't know if I believe that statement actually you've got lots of shots of doing things getting them right getting them a bit wrong sometimes but anyway so I'm going to make loads of different videos for you on this trip one of them well probably several of them I'm going to tell you about my favorite youtubers that I like to watch because I was asked that question so I'll share that with you but the purpose of this trip really was to this is going to sound corny I'm fully aware but I want to find out again who who I am the I that's not attached to my children because my children, like I said, they're twins. They're IVF twins. They're 21 now, they've turned 21. And I just, I love spending time with them. I need to see your seat on. I love spending time with them. And we do a lot of things together. But obviously they're growing up. They're gonna have their own life. And you know, I'm gonna be doing an awful lot of travel, probably solo. Um, which I'm fine with you if you've been here since day dot you'll know I used to go over to Egypt an awful lot and um, And I was fine with that. I wasn't initially but I got used to it But you know, I've got Harley here and there's a sad story there as well um, well, he's 12 now. He's a really good age for a dog and um, He's starting to not be able to walk as well a bit like myself and uh and I, when they diagnosed that, I was like, you know what, it's now or never, because I'd always wanted to do this trip. And I was like, yeah, it's gonna be now or never, so let's just go, let's just do it and book it. And and here we are. Probably gonna load up loads of different videos um, like throughout this series, because this, for example, is gonna be quite different to like when we arrive and things like that. So I'm just sort of having a little think as I'm driving along. It's only supposed to be three and a half hours from home, which I find that hard to believe, and I will be taking it really easy because I just want to enjoy my music and enjoy the drive and um, just chat with you guys. And uh, you know, it's just, yeah. And it's just, I'm so excited to have him here. I didn't double check that I've got his lead actually, but I know I have. Why do we do that? I put it in the cart last night and I'm like, I know I've got his lead. Um, so in the back there, you can see I've got my duvet and pillows because I do get very tired and we've got a lot of driving to do. In fact, I don't know how many miles, it'd be quite good to trip it, wouldn't it? 1951, is that all the miles I've done? No, that's on my trip. Um, 1951, okay, so, so yeah, let's see how many miles we do, but I do get very tired sometimes driving and with my whole fatigue thing, which I mean, who doesn't get tired these days, but it's slightly different sometimes when you've got chronic disease. Um, and there are times when it hits you like a wave and you're like, oh, I can't. So we've got stuff in there and if anything happens and we can't get to our, our locations that we need to go to, we can sleep in the car. It's a big car, quite comfy. We've got everything we need in the back. I've got food, I've got drink, I've got um, protein shake and coconut milk and a shaker so that literally I don't need any electric or anything. I've got loads of clothes. I've got next to no clothes. I've got, you know, you name it, I've got it. So it's i'm well prepared i'm very excited and um yeah like i say it's a this is a deep video i'm fully aware that it's really going to take you places um because it's taking me places and you got so many of you guys oh let me tell you something about youtube i discovered last night that an awful lot awful lot i must stop saying awful because it's a terrible word um a lot of my subscribers watch stuff to do with like YouTube algorithms and uploading and things. And I'm beginning to wonder if you guys want a little bit more of sort of behind the scenesy kind of news stuff. Look how beautiful this bit of countryside is. This often reminds me a little bit of Wales actually. Um, because I'm really open to talking about my laptop lifestyle and how I live 
my life the way that I do. Actually, this is going to take me somewhere else seven minutes. We'll have another three minutes of chatting, and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'll stop this video because there's quite there's quite a juicy nugget coming up, and then I'll do the next video. Um, so I I feel as though oh, this is so beautiful, breathtaking. Look in that window, so so breathtaking. Wow. Um, right, where was I? Yeah, this laptop lifestyle. So I've chosen to live my life a certain way. And the nine to five is for some people perfect. Some people love that routine. They love having certain things at certain times. And on Thursday evening, I do this. And on Friday morning, I do that. And then it's like, yeah, it's Friday. And then, you know, hump day. Oh, thank goodness, another week over. All that sort of thing. And that's not really, whoa, pigeon, careful. That's not really where I'm at. It's not really what I want to be about. It's not really what I want to do. So um, I'm just like, I chose to try and morph my life into this thing of I could, no matter what my health was doing, if I felt like doing something, I could do it on my laptop from wherever, from my bed, from wherever. And, um, and it's taken a lot of doing. It's not an overnight thing. It's taken loads of years. And, um, and I'm pretty much there now. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not gonna edit this video. <coughs> nice ring, by the way. Thank you, Sally Atkins. Go and check her out. Um, she's called Ethic Jewelry now. Yeah, so it's taken some doing. I've written some books, I've sold some. Um, I've created more content on YouTube. I've got some, some advertisers interested in, in working with me. And it's just, like I said, it's taken a lot of doing. But like most YouTubers or people who work online, I've got other fingers in other pies as well. If you want to know about any of that, do let me know. I am considering um, doing like a pri there's some private videos you can put up now, which are only for members, which I might like make it super cheap, like a pound or something, and, and put stuff up there that I don't to share from somewhere else. My God, why are they all on the road? Um, <laughs> so yeah, so. Yes, other fingers in other pies, and um, I'm in quite a fortunate position with all of that. But I do plan in probably, let me think, what am I now? So in about four years' time, I do plan to try, I'm going to say only do, only do YouTube and writing. Now, I look at YouTubers who upload twice a week, living their best life, and they often have like brand deals and stuff like that going on, so they are busy people. But it's more than enough, whereas I'm doing that my doctorate looking after my mum looking after my twins although you know they're self-sufficient but you know what i mean running two homes mine and my mum's um, without a partner so life is busy and i do too much and my health is just give me a little bit of a excuse me don't forget health so i was like yeah that's true so i'm like let's get away from it all paper boy morning paper boy we are very early didn't mention that did i um it's half five so right i'm just going to mention this quickly shall i mention it in this video no i won't i'm going to start it on the next one so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up put the notifications on and you need to click all notifications because you're going to be seeing lots of videos coming up from me a lot of them will be chatting in the car this is the way that we started and you guys seem to love that um and so let's do it again and whenever i put one up that's like this it's just like chit chat chit chat i get comments saying that really resonated with me and if that's one person that's resonated with and they're like i'm having a better day now because of that woman in that car then my work here is done i love that although let me just say something quickly if you are someone that watches because you're interested in youtube and how it all works um there's I'm going to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, yes. So, there's a big, it's not a debate really, but at the moment, there's something about getting the eyes on your channel. Now, getting eyes on your channel means for me, uploading travel vlogs, um, ideally from foreign places, which are all inclusive resorts. So, I love doing that, of course, but we're limited with the travel and. Um, I don't know if that's sustainable forever, but that's viral content. So if someone will come to my channel, they'll have a look at what I'm doing, um, 
for their information and then they'll go again. They don't give a monkeys about me or who I am or what I do. They just want to look around. Now, I watch some travel videos from a guy, I don't even know what his channel's called actually, but he literally puts the camera on and walks around these places looking at things and just showing you he doesn't even talk sometimes he'll overlay some words about this restaurant you can come here three times a week or, or something like that but yeah he's he's a faceless person that you'll occasionally see a reflection of him in the mirror all these people going to work wow um but you know you don't get invested in him as a human being and therefore you, he gets loads and loads of views in fact he does get loads of subscribers but people aren't invested in him as such so I've had a debate. Do I want the viral content or do I want this sort of life coachy stuff? And I kind of want to amalgamate the two, really, if I'm honest. So I'm going to have to. This junction's always a pain in the ass. Um, there we are. Now we go. Oh, that's a flipping nice golf. Look at that. Um, so, yeah. So at the minute, we're focusing on you guys, focusing on giving you the stuff that you really seem to like and even though there's a handful of you I really want to sort of make you my target people the people that I really want to talk to I'm getting hungry oh, we've got a long drive before breakfast my friend let's go to the other side of the country and find some bacon and eggs <laughs> um so yeah so that's that really i'm gonna you know be focusing on you guys seeing how it goes obviously there'll be a time when we go back to travel and i'm probably gonna make a video coming up soon butlins versus pontins because everybody's looking at that um on my channel the pontin stuff where we go dancing so yep i shall do that on my travels and um, meanwhile we're heading to cardiff today and then oh and Tenby today as well. It feels weird that that's in the same day. Um, lots of traveling. Um, I'm loving the van life thing. So I'm gonna talk about that in another video because there's some people that I watch about that sort of the van life thing. Um, and yeah, so let's have a little bit of a series going on with this and then we're gonna go and explore Wales more than I have before. Oh, I was talking about the book, wasn't I? The Hills and Valleys. So in there is a massive feature about me crossing Severn Bridge. Um, I am somebody that gets quite anxious thoughts. I think a lot of people do now. Um, and crossing the Severn Bridge is massive for me. But I want to do it, so let's go. Um, I will catch up with you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, please hit the subscribe button and hashtag down below road trip and you that do that are precious so take care of you you mean so much i hope you realize i'll see you in my next video which will be i'm going to film it in a minute how fun is that um but take care guys bye for now